Hi everyone and welcome to another video by BioTeach, this time focusing on Unit 7, the Contemporary Issues and Science Unit. Don't forget that this is the examined unit that's set by Pearson. In this particular unit, you are provided with three articles from various sources and they're based around a similar topic. And with those three articles, you have two weeks to prepare a plan and you're allowed to take that plan into the exam so that you can complete the five questions that they ask you about. The written portion for this particular unit is two and a half hours in exam condition. What I wanted to do was do a question by question analysis to get the best marks and I will be creating the videos for the rest of the questions in due time. So if we look at question number one, it's actually worth 12 marks in total and it asks you to discuss the implications of the scientific issue identified in the three articles. Remember that the three articles will be based on a similar topic. So if one article is on pesticides, then the other two will be related to pesticides also. Now, to achieve the higher range of marks in this particular question, you need to be able to draw a wide range of links to and between ethical, social, economic and environmental implications. I'll go through what that means in a second, but I just want to highlight the fact that to get the higher marks, it's not just mentioning what these implications are, it's actually linking these implications together. As you look on your screen, you can see how the marks are awarded. So seven to nine marks will be awarded where you've drawn some of the links. Four to six marks will be awarded when you've attempted to draw some links also. And one to three marks is where you've made no attempt or limited attempt to draw links. So really, you need to be linking these implications together best you can. So in terms of the implications or the issues and the impacts that kind of come through on these topics, you have to mention these four. So you've got the environmental impacts, the economic impacts, social impacts and ethical impacts. Now, if we go through each of those, so environmental could be local or global environmental impacts, and it could be positive or negative. And that goes for all four of these. You could have positive economic impacts or you could have negative economic impacts and so on. An example over here where I've mentioned about the global impacts, for example, the reduction of global warming will help to protect the habitats. Moving on to economic impacts, the word economic normally relates to money, but economic could also re relate to how well the resources are used. In this particular example that I've given over here is, you know, putting raw sewage into rivers or the seas can pollute and reduce biodiversity. Now that obviously has an environmental impact, but as part of that, there's also the economic downfall. It's going to cost a lot of money to treat the sewage and clean it up. The positive implication of cleaning the sewage up from the local rivers or the seas has economic benefits because if there's less disease that's being spread, then you could invite that place to be more of a tourist destination, particularly if it's an area of natural beauty. Moving on to social impacts. So lots of implications will come through that are social implications in these articles that you're given. For example, you could have vaccinations that have a social implication. Having plenty of food in an area also has positive social implications. The ability that we have to be able to travel with ease in and out of the country and around the world also has a social impact. That also has economical impacts because as we are able to travel and we go to other countries, we are also helping their economy. So you get an idea of how to link these implications together. Lastly, you've got ethical impacts. Now, the word ethical normally relates to what's right and wrong or the difference between right and wrong. Now, different people are going to have different views depending on lots of different factors. For example, there's one topic that comes up quite a lot, whether it's right to let countries live in famine when others have technology or resources that could potentially help, or whether it's right to let countries live in famine when we have an abundance of food. So something like that might come up in like the genetic engineering of food topic. So now that we've discussed about these four issues or impacts, what I want to go through is looking at tips on starting question one. Now, the articles that have been provided by Pearson or 
BTEC, discuss the scientific issue of a specific area. So the first sentence I would probably recommend you start off with is, these articles provided discuss the scientific issue of, and then pop in your topic name. So it could be genetic engineering, it could be diesel fuels, it could be pesticides or insecticides or whatever it might be. And then you need to talk about the source of these articles. Now, question one is relating to all three articles. OK, so you have to mention all of the sources of information. So they might be from newspapers, they might be from journals, they might be from a blog. So you need to identify where these articles have been taken from and mention that in that first introductory paragraph. I would also then go on to introducing your implication. So maybe I would start off with a sentence that says there are several or there's a few implications or issues raised in the articles. And then in the new paragraph, I'd start off with what the implications were. So you could say, firstly, there is a social impact of and then state what the social impact is. This links on to environmental implications such as and then state what the link is between the social implications and the environmental implications. The economic issues surrounding this area are and then state what the economic issues are and then link that link that to social, environmental or ethical. Remember, the higher marks are only awarded when you can link these implications together. Lastly, I've got the ethics behind the study. So the ethics behind this particular study are questionable or the ethics behind this particular study are well considered. And then you state why you think they're one or the other. In that box on the right hand side, I've put some good words and phrases to use. So words such as moreover, furthermore, however, if we compare this to in comparison, in some ways, or if we consider all of these kind of connector words are really good to take you from one idea to another. The reason I've put this together is because the students that I teach don't always have English as their first language. And as some of you might also be in the same position, I think it's a really useful tool to have these kind of banks of words and some ideas of where you can go with your answers, particularly because you need to be able to verbalize your answer very well in order to achieve the higher marks. So I've got some practice articles that you can look at to start off your question one if you want to. There's lots of past exam materials on the BTEC website, but some of them are locked, so you may not be able to access them. You could always ask your teachers in school or college to print them off for you or to give you access on Moodle or Google Classroom. But I have got a sample assessment material from 2016, which I've shared on my test shop and the links for that are in the description of this video. Now, the sample assessment material is looking at the scientific issue of pesticides and insecticides and the effect that those chemicals have on the population of bees. So this is the first article. It gives you this kind of picture of a bee which looks like an rapeseed field. And it talks about how bees may become addicted to nicotine like pesticides and how they have a preference for sugar solutions that are laced with pesticides and what the effect of that will be on bee populations. Article two on the sample material is obviously on the similar subject area of pesticides, but this time it's looking at the plight of the bumblebee pesticides that are linked to the decline of bee colonies. In this particular paper, they're looking at two studies that seem to give strong evidence that pesticides that are sprayed by farmers are threatening bumblebees and honeybees. So that's something that you would read and you would look at the implications of. Article number three is titled Sick Bees, and this is actually taken from the American Bee Journal in 2013. So it's a more formal article. This article is actually the one that has the most references and actually historically looking at all the past exam questions. It's always article three that's the longest and that's generally from the most kind of formal source of information. So it's worth having a look at all of these articles and practicing your question one according to the information that I've given you. I've also added an additional practice paper and the mark scheme on my test shop and the link for that is in the description. This particular practice paper is based on the impact of diesel fuels. So there's three articles that are looking at that topic. 
please go and download it from the test shop and have a go at answering each question one by one. You've got the mark scheme handy anyway, so you could always have a go by yourselves. But eventually, when I've got questions two, three, four, and five broken down properly for you in video form, you should be able to do pretty well at those using that particular paper. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope that was really useful in getting you started on question number one for the unit seven. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them underneath this video so that I can get back to you and help you out. I know I've had so many questions from you guys on Instagram, so please continue to get in touch because it's giving me some information as to which videos I need to prioritize. Let me know if you need anything else. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed and please ensure that you share my channel with anyone who you think might find it useful. Bye for now.